Hey everybody, Pastor Ryan, the roving giant here. We are on our way on the North Philly Placid Trail. I got my mom and dad here coming with me <laughs> and uh, making our way right through the, the waterfront park and <laughs> heading, out, heading out on the trails. was just telling me about the cottages here at the Sacandaga Park. These are all from like the 1800s. There was an old park here before they made the Great Sacandaga Reservoir and flooded it out back in the 1930s. There's a bunch of the old cottages from before that time and they're still active. So you get to hike through them right at the beginning of the trail. See ya! <laughs> so it started to drizzle and my mom and dad are making their way back to the car to drop off the bike and drop off dad. Just for those who don't know, uh, my dad has early onset Alzheimer's disease for about almost nine years now. We still get out, we still hang out. He's doing good, he's a happy camper, especially when he's out, out and about. Doesn't like the rain though. <laughs> my mom is gonna meet me up at the trailhead to Mud Lake, which is gonna be right where I head back into the woods. She's gonna meet me there after she drops dad off with somebody to take care of him. But yeah, it was just a really nice way to start this trip by having my folks coming along with me. This first section is all road for the first three and a half miles, but it gets into the woods soon. And I know it just started to sprinkle. It's gonna keep raining. It's gonna get wetter and wetter today. And uh, tis the joy of being outside. So I'm making my way up the mountain road and uh, the rain is increasing. Little by little, it's uh, to a consistent drizzle now. It used to be just a couple little sprinkles. <sighs> Feels nice to be out. As I head up the hill here, I figured I'd tell you a little bit of the game plan for today. For today, just getting my legs under me. Seeing how this all feels, seeing how my pace is doing. I've given myself time stamps based on about two miles an hour-ish. We'll see if that's too fast or too slow as we go about the first couple days here. Today, as I finish this first three and a half miles here on the road, I'm gonna meet back up with my mother. We're gonna hike into Mud Lake, do lunch there. She's bringing me some, some chili and Stewart's. Stewart's is awesome, love you Stewart's. After we do lunch, I'm gonna keep on trucking all the way up to Woods Lake. I'm camping at Woods Lake tonight. So that's the rundown. I think it's like 11.1 miles-ish for the whole day and uh, see how I do. <laughs> starting to look a bit more like wilderness. Not quite fully yet, we're still on a road, but I don't know, we're getting close to the trailhead when I stop going by those posted signs there and uh, we hit public land. My dad off at a uh, uh, caretaker's, Sue, up in Sue. Then she's gonna drive back up and meet me over here at the uh, the register that'll be up here when the trail turns into the woods. Gonna wait for her there, so I'll keep it posted. making through the woods and we're seeing through the trees over here that's mud lake getting pretty close to it we're gonna make our way down to the clearing and take a look out on the lake and see how pretty it is and see how hard it's actually raining because it's hard to tell in the trees and uh and we'll make a spot for lunch i think it's uh getting just about that time
Great morning with Ryan. <laughs> and we're, uh, my mom is heading out. She's heading back to the car and I'm heading, continuing on up to Woods Lake. So uh, we enjoyed a little bit of chili here at Mud Pond and uh, we'll keep you along for the ride. See ya. <laughs> Bye. All right, mom is heading back to her car. Not on my own for a couple days. What I am excited for on this trip, but also nervous about is this is the longest I will have ever gone solo. Now I'm gonna be touching base with people periodically throughout it, so it's not too bad, but I got a couple days here heading through some Southern Adirondack wilderness all by my lonesome. A little bit of solitude time, should be nice. Enjoy this lake while we're here. want to show you, set my poles down and show you on the map uh, where we're at. We have made it from Mud Pond there where my middle finger is and we made it over to this footbridge. So there's a little footbridge right there. Um, we got to make it a quite a ways farther still today. That puts us at seven miles so far today and uh, my legs are feeling tired. They're feeling tired. They're feeling it. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It's, uh, I'm not like cool let's keep going but we're gonna keep going. I like this. This is cool. Beautiful little spot. This is this is what Adirondack streams are all about. Our next landmark is going to be crossing West Stony Creek. So I'll show you when we get there. I'm noticing there's something strange about being out here when it's raining so hard. It's super loud and uh, you know I'm normally pretty chill in the woods but I, I have my moments where I just kind of get spooked real easy and uh, as uh, I'm hiking I can't help but just like I'll hear a big sound off in the distance and kind of have like a what was that kind of moment and it's always rain but I think the sheer volume just makes me a little bit I don't know a little bit extra paranoid like I don't trust my hearing. I don't know I thought it was interesting so I thought I'd tell you that little thought I had. All right, we've made it to West Stony Creek in the trail. Well, that goes right across. So let's give this uh, our first real deal creek crossing a go. This is a cool creek. It's wide. Just need to see where where we actually cross. I'm following these little pink ribbons. See where others have crossed and where the trail meets the other side. I think it's going to be just straight across, but I'm not sure. Let's do some exploring. All right, found it. See that cairn over there? That's where it is. So, let's make our way across the creek. But uh, we're trucking along, not quite to the Benson Road yet, but uh, I haven't been able to get the camera out because I haven't been able to turn the camera on because my phone is so wet. Yeah, that's where we're at. It is just a wet kind of day. I'm hoping that I'll be able to get my clothes dried out at least a little bit for tomorrow, but we'll see. Maybe I'll just be hiking wet. I feel like now's a good time to talk a little bit about discouragement. You know, I'm late in the hike today. I know it's the first day, so my legs aren't really in full swing, but they're they're struggling. My knees aren't feeling wonderful. Uh, I'm soaking wet, so everything's heavy. I'm tired. Rain always tends to put a bit of a damper on your mood. I think it's times like this where, yeah, I can acknowledge that this isn't the most pleasant thing in the world, but if I let myself stay down about it, then I'm gonna be miserable. So part of this is me telling you 
to try to convince you. Part of this is me telling you to try to convince me, but I'm just gonna put my head down and tough it out through the remainder of this section of the hike. I'll, I'll let you know if anything interesting happens. So after that gruelingly wet hike, I am exhausted, but I finally arrived at Benson Road, and now I just need to figure out which way the trail goes. You can get a feel for just about how wet it is out here, huh? Got a little ways to go to get to the campsite at Woods Lake, but I'm within striking distance. <sighs> I made it to the, uh, to the register. Now on to camp. It should be about 0.6 miles left to camp, and then we'll finally be done hiking for the day. Huzzah! We have made it to Woods Lake. I'm gonna eat me some dinner. So I thought I'd give you guys the update now that my stuff's here. The rain leaked into my bag, and my uh, sleeping bag's wet. Yay! Super excited about that. I'm gonna see if it'll dry off at all, but I'll probably be sleeping with a damp sleeping bag tonight. I did have a nice little treat though. My mom left me leftover bacon in my bag. Score! Didn't know that was there. That really, like, that lifted my spirits big time. I mean, I, I am absolutely drenched. There's, I don't know how else to put it. I am as wet as I can possibly get, uh, at least on my clothes. Like this shirt, it may look normal on the camera. It, it, it is absolutely just drenched and I'm, I'm like borderline shivering. I'm, I need to be careful. Hypothermia is real. Now, I am planning on getting changed pretty soon. I'm gonna change into my sleeping clothes, settle in, just try to dry off and relax for a little bit. I may come back out at some point to uh, like get water and stuff like that, but I'm gonna see how much of this I can wait out. I don't know how long this rain's gonna last. It may go all night. So I don't want to count on it stopping, but I do need some time dry. I've been wet for too long. Hi right, everybody. So here's the deal. Um, I had all my gear set up. I was trying to get my sleeping bag dried out and this cold air is coming in, still raining. My down under quilt was wet. My hammock was wet. My synthetic sleeping bag was wet. My extra clothes were dry, but they got wet really quick from touching all that wet stuff. I have no confidence that my stuff will dry enough to keep me warm tonight. So with uh, much hesitation, I am calling it. Now, I don't have a meetup plan with anybody for tonight. The plan is for them to meet me in Pasico a couple days from now. Fortunately, I am relatively close to uh, my, my mother's house. So what I'm gonna be doing is reaching out to her. But before I do that, I'm gonna see if I can't check on the other end of this lake. I believe that there is a cross country ski Center nearby, Lapland Lake, I intend to see if they uh, if their lodge is open for me to go and make a phone call because I have zero cell service right now. I'm kicking myself. I am not happy that this is happening. I am not happy that I am calling it. Um, that is the last thing I wanted to do on the first night. I've been out on multiple night trips so many times before. I've been out when it was negative six, but for some reason this this wet cold is just I'm not willing to risk it. The frog seems to be agreeing with me. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to get hiking and see if I can't figure out a way to get back to my mother's house for tonight so that she can drop me back off here in the morning and I can do a take two after drying my gear off. But yeah, I'll let you know if there are any interesting developments to follow. Mm -hmm.